Well, how do there, chum? So I've already done the first impressions of this game. You can find it in my recent videos. I'll put a link later in this one. But um, my first impressions of this within the first hour is do not pick it up. Do not play it pretty much at 25 quid. It's not worth your money. In short, spoilers. So I carried on playing it for a couple more hours to at least get myself up to level four, which I'm at currently. And I'm on day four, I think, something like that. What do I think now? Let's jump on in and let me tell you. OK, so one of the biggest pros of this game is it looks freaking phenomenal. It looks beautiful. Now, I am running this on a high end PC and for me, it looks great. I mean, there are a couple of V-Sync issues, but I have turned V-Sync off. But yeah, look at the world. Look at the distance draw. Look how awesome it looks. Look, we've got sky whales and all sorts of stuff. And the other thing that's quite cool is this whole sort of gliding mechanic. But you can see there my stamina is just going down like super, super rapidly. To the point where, although that it's quite fun, you can just drop. You can just drop. There's no full damage. So it kind of takes away from the importance of gliding in a roundabout way. So yeah, you can just jump and fall all the way down to the ground. Now you can see there's a monster down there. He's too tough for me. Pretty much every single monster that's in a stone's throw from your base is going to be too tough for you. And although that you saw me traverse that quite nicely and get up to the top of here, it's very rare that you can traverse rocks like that. I mean, you, you won't be able to climb this. Look, you can't climb that. There's no sort of scaling functionality or rock climbing functionality. So you have to rely on the tether. And the tether only tethers to certain places where there's a tether point. So inside the trailer where you see them hammering about all over the landscape. No, it's, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. Oh, look, I haven't encountered that creature down there before. Oh, I'll show you what I mean by full damage. Look, you know, how? Oh, great. Well, I and I'm not very good at taking out. Ow! Not very good at taking out sky creatures because there's no real way to hit them. Look, I'm, I'm flying towards him. I'm pressing the hit button. You can't hit him when you're in the air. So it makes it almost impossible to beat that. Well, look, you've got a resource hovering in the air there that I need. Can't get it. That little creature is going to kill me. The big one's going to kill me and with that one hit as well. But, yeah. It's not very well balanced. You're going to die a lot. And pretty much every creature in the game can completely annihilate you at the start of the game. Another big part of this game is to build your tribe up. Now I've only got two tribal members so far, so I guess I have to find other people out in the world and bring them to my realm. I'm guessing, yeah, but I've only got two villagers, so that's a thing. You have to grow your tribe too. Another aspect of this is building. So I've just put this tannery here. Now you can go into the build menu and there's quite a lot of different things that you can put in here. Now you are going to get different sort of bonuses if you build them next to other stuff. So there's that too to take in a, in, into account. It's survival, crafting, monster hunting. It, it's got something there. It's got promise. OK, so when you first start out, you're best to place a portal near to lots of resources, like somewhere like this. OK, so if I put down a portal, oh, no, I want my portal. There you go. Put down the portal. There we are. Now my little village guys will come out. Now, I've got three portals, but I've only got two villages. So I'm going to stick one there. You can see I've got another portal over there at the moment. So at least we're gathering some resources from around here at the moment. And that's kind of your basic premise, because you need to get lots of resources. Pow! We've got some Terra Stone. Now, there's not much that told me that's how you got Terra Stone, in, unless you go into the actual tutorials and hunt inside there. When I say the tutorials, you've got to go into a menu to find it. So, yeah. Smash this. Yeah. Can I pick these up? Yeah. Lovely, 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 lovely. Terra stone is quite wildly needed. 
And you know what? I'll put another portal here for now. So, boom. Come on, guys. You can put out three portals, and when you put out your third one, it will dematerialize your last one that you put down. So pick your portal placement quite wisely. And these guys are going to be going backwards and forwards and collecting resources on your behalf. It kind of works. It's kind of a bit like Power World in a way, but it's not as advanced in crafting. So the only real enemies that you can take on at this stage are just a couple. There's a handful of enemies that you can take on. One of them is this, these guys, and you are going to get XP for doing that. And inside of here, you have got a skill tree and you can invest in stuff, you know? So there you go. Yeah, I, I get that one because we could do with a smash attack, cling heavy attack. I'm, I'm just going to go to mental, mental on my on my axe skills. You know, I've only got one skill point left now. Uh, that's going to cost me two. That's going to cost me two. Can't really unlock much else there. Yeah, not much. I really want to do there. Now you can un also unlock on traversal too. Get a little bit of stamina maybe. But yeah, a lot of these cost a heck of a lot of skill points. So don't expect to be going up levels too fast. Now, I think inside the trailer when they were showing them zooming and zipping all over the landscape, all over the place, I'd imagine they're highly, highly upgraded. Now, one of the fun features is to be able to glide. But the glide in itself is a little bit off at times. I mean, yeah, I managed to do that okay. But it can be a little bit haphazard. It's not the easiest to control. The game itself is freaking beautiful, though. Now, another thing with this is you're going to be jumping into the tutorial quite a lot to read up on stuff. It doesn't actually really hold your hand at all. You have to go looking for all this sort of stuff to understand how to play. The map is no use to anyone. It doesn't show your position. You can't set custom waypoints. It sucks. That needs to be sorted. And yeah, the fact that you can't take on any of the creatures at this low, well, at the start of the game is a little bit boring too. The grind is just huge. The grind is massive. And I think it's grindy for grindy's sake. I think because there's not much in this game right now, they've just decided to pad it out and it, it really doesn't work. Well, I don't think it does. I don't think this works. It feels very sort of underbaked, undercooked. And the music... The music just repeats over and over again. And it just drives you freaking insane to the point that I don't want to turn the music off. Yeah, this game hasn't got much going for it right now, people. It really hasn't. I've got a load of terror stuff already, didn't I? Well, there you go. Now, something that is quite cool is you can get back to your base fairly quickly, which is kind of nice. But here we go. There's a boss down here. Now, when you die, you don't lose any sort of materials, I don't believe, anyway. I don't think there's much punishment to losing. But the amount of times that I've started fighting a creature like this, and then a smaller creature turns up and starts battling me, is a little bit annoying. Now, there's nothing to show you the level of the creature that you're up against, either. Sometimes they'll say adult, and they're going to hit, well, they're going to one hit kill you. Now, a lot of these creatures I can do quite well against, and then just all of a sudden, no, not anymore. And I don't know whether it's because my stamina goes down or something, but I just stop doing damage to the dang things. And when they hit you, it doesn't feel like they've hit you. It just feels extremely floaty. Now, another thing you can do is tether onto the creature, climb it, which is quite nice, scale it, and attack it from its back and do quite a lot of damage. And of course, it can't do too much damage to you then, can it? But you see that I got hit once and I've almost died. Now, there's no way to get your health back either. I, so I died there. You see how floaty that was? I didn't get knocked down or anything. I just died in the air and then I'm back at my base. It doesn't feel right. It just feels grossly underbaked, that. Another thing is you craft gear, but it doesn't change the way you look. Inside of the character designer, I could have added a hat. I haven't found any way of getting a hat inside of the game or any new armor. There's no chests. 
It doesn't feel all that rewarding to go exploring like I'm doing right now. And you know, I'm only level three. I can't take out anything right now. So I'm looking for tiny, small enemies. I mean, look over here, look at this. The nice thing is, is if you can see it, you can go to it. So here we go. let's head on over onto that bridge, maybe. Let's head all the way over there. What's that structure? You know, it's interesting, but when you get there, there's nothing to be had. Now the tethering, when you tether onto something, it sort of flips you up like that. But then you, I can't find other tethering points to tether onto to get up higher. So getting into that tower, and I can see there's a resource in there that I need. It's just neon impossible. It's just really frustrating trying to traverse this world. It's not as intuitive as something like Spider-Man or anywhere even close. Look at it. I mean, the camera angles are just shoddy as fudge. There you go. Look, I've been launched up into the air. This ah, oh, just so hard, just so hard to actually traverse this landscape. I could hear a creature near me then, but and look, it's still pointing me up that way. But I don't know. Oh, here we go. There's a creature down there. That's the, that's the same creature that killed me momentarily ago. This um this whole area of the map is just littered with creatures that are going to one hit kill you. But there needs to be lots of smaller creatures so you can at least level up to get your resources, and there just there just isn't. And it just feels so empty at times. Now, something I really do like is this little creature sort of dictionary thing where you can pick up all the different creatures that you come across, read about them, find out where they are, their sort of um, you know positions or whatever. The only trouble is trying to get back to where you saw these creatures is pretty darn difficult because the map sucks. Another thing that I'm, I'm not too keen on is the fast travel only seems to be one way and one way only. Now, I have travelled miles to get over here. So putting down a portal so I could get back here would be awesome. I mean, my, my little NPC mates, they can get back here, can't they? But for whatever reason, I can't. So here we go. We'll put down another portal here. There's my little chappies. They're going to come out and grab some of this stuff now, or they, they should do. Well, I'll grab these myself. Let's see if I'm going to stick them in the portal. There we go. Now I can teleport back to my village, like so. But what I can't do is use this portal to go back to any of my portals that I have open. You walk into it, you just come out the other side. It'd be nice if there was an option to go to portal one, two or three. You haven't got that ability. So the one, the fast travel is only one way and one way only. So once you've gone all the way over the landscape and risked life and limb, when you're like a glass cannon, like I am at the moment, when I haven't got the cannon actual aspect, I'm just a freaking glass at the moment. It's, there's just no, there's just no bonus to it. There really isn't. Oh look, I'm gonna come back in thirty seconds so I can have a feast. I'm not too sure for what reason I'm gonna have a feast. There we go. We'll do that in a moment. We'll find out. Okay, right. We're down to ten seconds remaining on this counter, and I'm guessing we're gonna get some sort of bonus if we have a feast before nightfall. So to try and get back to your camp before nightfall, I'd imagine is this, this is what this is all about. Maybe it might give us a bonus for the next day or something. I don't know. But I haven't got any animal chunks or anything on me, so I don't know if I can cook anything. All right. Well, that's that's over. So let's reinteract with it. Okay. Auto plan, I guess. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. I'm pressing every freaking button. Ah, not enough food. I thought that'd be the case. Well, I, I haven't actually killed anything. It says the feast is starting in a bit at the top there. But this is the sort of thing that I'm on about. You don't really get... I bet there's something inside of the tutorial inside of here about having feasts or something. But it'd be nice if it put it on the freaking screen, wouldn't it? It, no, there's there's nothing. There's nothing on feasting. I don't think. No, no, there's not. Great. So I don't know what the bonuses of feasting. And there's no little creatures around here for me to slay anyway. Yeah, you have to jump off into the underworld and hope that you can come across a beast that you can slay. And if they're airborne, good luck. I can't hear anything in the freaking air. And by the looks of things, the only weapon that might give me the chance of hitting something in the air is a spear. I haven't managed to craft that yet either. What the fudge is this? Oh, hello. What did I just get? I have no idea what that was either. 
It's, there's just no explanation for things, people, right now. This game is in sore need of polish. Okay, now you are given fairly decent hints up here. So this one says to look for smokestacks to actually find a campfire to recruit somebody. I can see a campfire over there. So I'm going to head over that way and hopefully get up there. But, you know, my stamina is not that great. Okay, well, I've made it up here, which took me a freaking lifetime. Perhaps there is hope for a better world. Let me help. Okay. Go for it. Lovely. We have now managed to get a villager over there. Looks like there's another one all the way over there. That could be fun, couldn't it? But I might head to it since I can see it right yeah, now. And the idea is you build yourselves little houses and you can assign people to the houses. And then those people just sit around over here and they don't go anywhere near the African houses. It's, it's pretty weird. There's a lot of things inside of this that don't really make sense. And her picture looks somewhat like her picture. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It just feels a little bit underbaked, this. It really does. All of it does. So yeah, if you want to see my first impressions, me playing this for the very first hour, I'll put a video up there. But this is my full review of this in its current state of beta access. This is something that I'm going to jump in every time I see there's been a large update to it. And it's something that I'm going to keep an eye on. I think it's got potential. I think there's something here. But it's got looping music, which is just terrible. It's got horrible navigation. It's got a skill tree that takes forever. Its building mechanics are just over convoluted. And even the armor is time gated and creating new weapons time gated. It feels like they've slowed everything down because there's not much of a game here, is what I'm thinking. And also, a lot of the creatures that you come up against, you don't stand a living chance in hell against them. And I'd imagine you've got to unlock virtually all of your skill tree before you even get anywhere close to being able to take down a creature. So the actual feeling of being a hero or progressing or of managing to do something outstandingly amazing is very slim and very small in this game. There's no real feeling of reward. There's just too much risk, no reward. It, it, it just... It's, it's just underbaked, massively underbaked. And I am seeing in other people's reviews that they're saying that it's poorly optimised too. I'm on a pretty decent PC. I haven't seen that myself. But it does look like there's a lot of work for these game developers to do. Now, I don't want to put them off because what they have here is something that has got potential. There's potential here. And hats off to you. Salute to Mondo for doing what you've done so far. It looks great. It just needs to play great. Okay. Well, thank you for watching, people, but I'm still sticking with my 6 out of 10 for a review right now. This is a little bit cheeky than charging 25 quid for this as a game, and it, it doesn't feel like a game. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.